Okay. Kibagendi? Uh, first, we have to agree that uh, Kenya is a constant work in progress. Uh, and while at it, we, uh, we need to realize that we are behind in our bills and our promises to the people of this nation. We have an executive that is so focused on being busy rather than being productive. We see them running around the country uh, trying to sell hope that is no longer being bought uh, by the same people that uh, catapulted, uh, that pushed them to power. Uh, 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 Kenyans are indeed uh, an extremely resi resilient uh, uh, people, uh, but it is coming to a point where they will no longer take it uh, because they are grossly overworked and, uh, you know, uh, and severely underpaid. And this is making, uh, this is the making of the office of the president himself because of the overtaxation uh, of our citizens. And the president is getting fascinated by cheap and sincere flattery from his legion of members of parliament, including my friend here, who are fearful. They don't tell him the truth. But once we leave this desk, in the corridors here, he'll be telling us how, indeed, Maisha imekuwa ngumu. He'll be telling us how ground imekuwa ngumu. He's unable to articulate the issues they confidently try to sell on this uh, particular desk. We have a problem in this country, and we need to realize that. The president needs to come down to reality. Like uh, uh, Madam President has said, we need the executive, especially uh, the CS for Health, to tone down on her rhetoric and sit with the leadership of uh, uh, those in the medical fraternity and be able to come up with a solution. Uh, the president and his uh, legion of fearful MPs also need to realize that Kenyans are indeed suffering. And while he thinks everything is planned out, things can turn out uh, very bad in the next few uh, months because um, while international oil prices are going down, that is not the making of uh, the, the uh, Kenya Kwanzaa administration. And while the, 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 the shilling is strengthening against the dollar, that has not brought down the cost of living. We need to deal with the heavy taxation. We need to deal with the cost of food. We need to think about the future. Right now, the cost of food has gone down because of the rains. They've gone ahead to start selling us fake fertilizer. And I said this here last year, and we were with this gentleman, that they got some free fertilizer from uh, Russia. Russia. They went on to adulterate it with sand and, uh, and, 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 and uh, soil to make it, it was about 55 uh, million uh, metric tons, and they pushed it to 100. So that, and they went on to sell it to Kenyans. Now they are, they are, they are telling us it is their making that we have uh, the cost of unga come down. Okay, but why have you gone ahead to sell this time round fake? It is not even fake. That is not, imagine they are selling sand and feces from donkeys. And I wonder how a whole government can gather courage and, ga and uh, create time to gather feces for uh, uh, donkeys from across the country in, in tons and then start selling it to Kenyans. It is unfortunate. Okay. We are in a very difficult situation, and it is time yeah. people speak up. Okay. We need to stop being fearful. Ruku, you need to stop being fearful, yeah. and you need to stop lying to okay. Kenyans.